Hello and welcome to One Very Good Production UK. Today we're going to be doing an Adobe Photoshop tutorial and it's going to be, I'll be showing you how to do prop marks on Adobe Photoshop CS6. So if you just open it up, here we are. We'll just start by creating a new document. So this is just a standard A4 document and yeah. So what we'll do is create a new layer, just call it Prop Marks, Prop Marks, and yeah, so we'll just get rid of that. Okay, so what we're going to be doing first is adding, adding these, if you haven't, okay, we'll start by adding the lines. So if you haven't got the rulers already enabled, you're going to want to do that by clicking Command R and then you'll drag this to the edge of your paper. And um, then we'll just drag it to that side, do the top, yeah, yeah, and do the bottom. Okay, so that's in, and now we're gonna, we're gonna add the bleed. So we'll click image, canvas size, make sure relative is ticked. Just, just do five, so if we want 5mm bleed on all four sides, we'll add 10 and 10. So 5 here, 5 here, 5 here, 5 here. Click OK, and that's added a little bit more paper around the edges. So now if we select the single column marquee tool and right click here. And if you don't know how to right click on a Mac, you just do hold control and do it and click as you normally would. So stroke, we'll just do two pixels, make it black, you can do whatever color you want. So we'll just do two, and then do it the same on this side. There we go, and then you just want to select the single row. Oops. And then, I don't know what's happened there, but carry on. Do there, and bottom. Oh. Stroke. Okay, so we've done all four sides of that. And then what you've got if you click command and semicolon or control semicolon for Windows users, you've got these four lines but the problem with that if you cut along here it, you might have a chance of showing this line. So now to get rid of that we just Select the rectangle marker tool and highlight from here all the way down, just to in here. And just backspace that. If we just move that up here, you can see that now in the corners we just have. Hold on. In the corner, we just have it like that. So then, if you just do deselect, you've now got crop marks on all sides with a five millimeter bleed. Alright, I hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. See you next time.